are very clear that human activities are the primary cause of observed climate warming trend. The new record high levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere mean that we are already facing the increasingly severe impacts of climate change. In order for us to keep the slightest chance to keep the 1.5 degree rise in temperature, we really got to see a dramatic cut in emissions very, very soon. Nearly three quarters of total greenhouse gas emissions come from energy. But that can be further subdivided into energy usage in buildings and industrial processes and transportation. Because energy is the biggest source of emissions, energy transition from fossil fuels and electrification across every sector of the economy will be prerequisite for the success. Zero carbon power generation will be the core of the world's economy. And every country in the world needs to answer the basic question, where are we going to get clean electricity? Because this will be the basis for the decarbonized economy of the future. We are launching this course during difficult times, when the global oil and gas prices have skyrocketed, first due to the rise of post-COVID economic activity, and then more disturbingly due to the developments in Ukraine and subsequent economic sanctions against Russia, who has been one of the largest suppliers of fossil fuels. The current situation of rising demand and limited supply highlights our dependency on oil and gas and shows that we are far from being able to stop using fossil fuels. Second, it could lead to political swings against the energy transition. We are already seeing some people claiming that climate action is something we can't afford when we are facing energy shortages and that drilling and expanding capacity is now the only solution. We're seeing how the energy transition goal is now being replaced by the slogan of energy security. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can and we should achieve energy security and more importantly, energy independence through energy transition. If nothing else, I believe that we have now got an additional political reason to put decarbonization very high on our agenda. Given the importance of this subject, I believe that we all must be educated on why and how we should decarbonize our economy, why we need to shift away from fossil fuels to more sustainable sources of energy, and what role international organizations governments, corporates, financial institutions, and each of us can play in this process. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for our course and learn what you can do to safeguard our planet for future generations.